ladies and gentlemen, here we are at Ibrook Trout Fishing. And this is where I do most of my boat fishing and large stillwater fishing techniques. Uh, we're running courses throughout the year here. And uh, this sort of fishing is slightly different than if you're fishing a river or a small stillwater. So you can see behind me boats, we're obviously going to take boats out onto that water. And whatever you do, if you go out in a boat, we insist you wear one of these safety collars. The number of people who take these, these out with them, take them off, and then throw them in the back of the boat and carry on fishing without them round their neck. It's a very dangerous thing to happen because if the boat goes over, you've got no safety harness at all to save you from uh, drowning. And believe me, it's deep out there and can be very cold. So that's a safety aspect. Obviously, you're going to wear glasses on you when you're fishing out here. But what we really need to do, as you've seen when we were talking at the tackle shop, um, that you're looking at the type of rods you're going to use. Now, on this uh, still water I recommend 9 foot 6 to 10 foot rods um, because they are a bit longer you can sit in the boat and cast them quite easily and you'll be using slightly heavier lines than you would on a small still water you're probably using 7 weight or 8 weight lines um, because as you can see today if you look behind me there's quite a chop on that water that means there's quite a lot of wind so we've got to compensate for that some of these things we need to do and not all this comes up in the course I'm going to give you when you first come here, we'll do a PowerPoint presentation, which will last about uh, uh, three quarters of an hour, uh, with, along with some knots and things to tie. So by the time we get out onto the water, it'll be about an hour. We then do a, a run through of all the equipment we've got, and then we look at some of the casts you're going to do, um, both from the boat and from the shore. And uh, the whole course takes a day, and at the end of that day, you'll be fully fledged um, still water fisher uh, should be able to handle a boat as well. Part of the course we do talk about boat handling. Um, if you see behind me the boats are all lined up there nicely. Some people who haven't used the boat before come charging in, uh, to forget to turn the engine off or to take it out of gear and ram into the platform there and it doesn't do the boat too much good and it doesn't do your equipment too much good either. So these are all things we like to do to uh, get you involved in the fishing. So have a look in uh, the, some of the things we're doing in Ibrook. This is a very historic place. It was built uh, in the early 30s for the uh, Scots who came down here to run the steelworks at uh, Corby. And this dam that was built over here, as you can probably see behind me, was actually used in the dam busters to train the RAF uh, pilots when they were training for the dam buster raid on the uh, Rhine. Um, this was one of the places they used to perfect the uh, bouncing bomb technique that they used in those days. So it has a bit of history too. But it's a lovely place, it's one of the nicest, the gem of the still water fisheries in, uh, in the Midlands in my opinion. And uh, where nicer could you come to somewhere like this because you've got everything here. You've got still water off the bank, you can fish from the bank, you can fish from a boat, uh, you've got some lovely scenery all around you and it's in the middle of nowhere and peaceful, so that's it. Come and join me fishing at Ibrook.